The county government of Kakamege is making preparations for a mass funeral for victims of the Londiani road accident. Kakamega Governor Weekly for Paranya, who was speaking at Kericho County Referral Hospital when he visited those who were injured, said the survivors of the tragic accident would be transferred to Kakamega to be near their relatives. Kanga wale ambao uh, waka hospitali, wanapata matibabu, tunataka tuwapeleke Kakamega, karibu na wale wapenzi wao kwa sababu wanataka watembele, kwa sababu hapa ni mbali. Tumepanga hiyo kuanzia kesho. His Kericho counterpart Paul Chepkoni, who had accompanied him to hospital, said the survivors will not pay a penny. Karama yote ya matibabu, kwa wale wako kwa wadi, eh, tumeifutilia mbali. Vile vile karama ya mochori, kwa wale wanao, wali, wali opotezo wapendwa wao, vile vile imefutiliwa mbali. Former Kakamega Senator Boni Halwale, who also visited the victims, called on the Minister of Interior to deal decisively with police officers who turned a blind eye on the bus, wondering how it was not flagged down in any of the towing roadblocks between Nairobi and Londiani. First roadblock in Kabete, in Nairobi, should have realized that this bus that has a capacity of 62 people was carrying 72 people. They should have asked the excess passengers to alight. They did not. On his part, former TLB chair Hassan Ole Kamwaro wants the automation of driving licenses proposal revived, saying this would breed the roads of unqualified drivers. Nilishanga Juzi, Inspector General, anaondoa mamulaka kutoka kwa, kwa, de, kwa traffic commander ati anapeleka kwa, kwa, kwa wale kwa, kwa mausi pidi na hako. Sina chuki na hawa, lakini he has a Salama Barabarani Kunawala out of me Timu traffic when the train you could Kuchunga Magari Ukebeleko Kobolisi regular police. How is it could you are Gari Gani Konashida Gan? Kuala on the train you are Nahi Nikunyanganya Mamulaka officia by in a far. 54 people perished when the Kakamega bound homeboys bus rolled several times. At Londiani on Wednesday morning, Caroline Kamar reporting for Channel One Lunchtime News.